An aging population is putting the needs of Canada's seniors higher on the agenda in Parliament. Today, the government tabled a bill proposing stiffer sentences for anyone convicted of elder abuse. But as Chris Brown explains, not everyone thinks it will help. Yeah. Roast chicken and politics were on the menu today at this Vancouver drop-in centre for seniors with lots of talk about how to avoid becoming a victim. Of course we're more vulnerable. I mean you get weaker physically, you know, everything diminishes. But of course we would feel more vulnerable. It's time to face the reality of elder abuse. Ottawa has won praise for producing powerful commercials and for education programs warning that seniors are too often the victim of physical abuse, neglect and financial crimes. Today, the Justice Minister announced Ottawa will tweak the criminal code too, making a victim's age an aggravating factor in sentencing crimes involving senior abuse. This is one more step to make the criminal code more specific so that the courts um, have direction uh, with respect to, to the abuse uh, of seniors. There will be more prosecutions, I'm sure. But I also believe that we'll be giving far more authority to people to investigate and say this is wrong. At the Vancouver Senior Centre, though, the focus on sentencing missed the mark for some. A lot of senior abuse involves family members, and the coordinator here says harsher sentences may actually deter abuse from being reported. They feel very scared to, to go to the police and to, and to do something because, because they, they feel shame for the situation, too, and they, want, they don't want to involve the family. Around the dinner table, there was more scepticism. Well, I think it's a quick fix. I think they need to do more in terms of addressing the underlying issues. It's mainly education to look out for yourself, I think, be aware. What's hard to know is whether senior abuse is getting worse. It certainly is more reported now, which advocates say is a pretty good indication that awareness campaigns do make a difference. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.